Hi Robert, I hope you're having a good week. Um, so for today's video, I wanted to talk about celiac disease. Now, this is something that I've been um, diagnosed with for about three years and uh, suffered with it for about four years. Um, now, celiac disease is a hereditary and autoimmune disease. So our mom has it and, or has the gene of, for celiac disease. You and I both have the gene for celiac disease. Um, but the very, very interesting thing about celiac disease is that it can be triggered by a physical or emotional trauma. So I have had that and that has brought it out, um, but you and mom have not had anything bring it out yet, so um, you could still get it at any point. Hopefully you don't, because I wouldn't wish this on anyone. But um, yes, now celiac disease is, um, like I said, an autoimmune disease, so when I describe it to people, um, I describe it as an allergy, but really it's more than an allergy. It's your body attacking itself when you ingest gluten. Now gluten is a bonding agent that is found in wheat, barley, oats, and rye. So um, when a person who is celiac eats or puts something on their skin that contains gluten, their body will react badly and um, inside your large intestine, your body will attack itself and the gluten in it. And um, in your large intestine, you have these little finger-like things that um, are called villi and those reach out when you eat something and grab all the nutrients from what you eat but uh, because your body is damaging itself when you have celiac disease, um, it damages the little fingers, the villi, and makes the inside of your intestine smooth so that you're not absorbing any sort of nutrients. Um, now, this can be very painful, but you can also have absolutely no symptoms at all. Um, for me, I do have quite bad symptoms, um, which is lucky because that's how I found out that something was actually wrong. But um, my symptoms are basically uh, strong, strong um, stomach pain and um, then what I call a celiac moment where I have to make it to a washroom quite quickly. Uh, yeah. That's basically, um, when I do have an accident, uh, of eating gluten, um, or what they call cross-contamination, um, it takes about two days for my body to get through it and, like, stop hurting and whatnot. Um, I also get, like, very, very exhausted and um, a foggy memory. Uh, before I was diagnosed, like, everything's quite foggy. I don't really remember much. I can't remember, like, um, little details. Uh, so that's difficult. So, uh, with that being said, if you have any type of um, stomach pain, this goes for anyone listening, if you have any type of stomach discomfort, when you eat or um, anything, go to your doctor. Like, this is one in 111 people have it. It's very common and it's because we're genetically modifying the crap out of all the food that we eat. Like the wheat, that is so genetically modified. They're changing the, the grains, like, the plant so much uh, to get higher yield to feed more people but 
um, our body doesn't recognize it anymore. It's not normal wheat that we've been eating for years. And yeah, get checked out. Um, it's a lot better of a life, like knowing that I have it rather than suffering through like pain and just, yeah, all I can say is please, please, please go to the doctor. I, I promise you your life will get better. It does get better. Um, it gets easier to live on a completely gluten-free lifestyle. Um, unfortunately, there's no cure for it. Um, Robert, I still request, because you are a chemist, to come up with some sort of food testing thing to see if there's any gluten in foods. That would just be wonderful. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, though. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about it. Um, if anyone is out there watching this that has celiac disease, or has any questions about it, uh, comment below and I'll be happy to answer. Um, yeah, so I hope you have a nice week, Robert, and I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Whoops, realized I wasn't quite done yet. <laughs> There's just a couple more things. So um, with celiac disease, when you have even just like a crumb of bread, or a whole loaf of bread, if you eat either one of those, it'll have the same effect on your insides, the same amount of damage. Also, um, the only cure, well, the only way to deal with celiac disease is by living on a 100% gluten-free lifestyle, like gluten-free diet, for the rest of your life. That's the only way to deal with it. Um, and if you do not abide by the 100% gluten-free lifestyle, you have the possibility of getting, um, cancer or, um, becoming infertile. 